Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility. And today we're going to talk about the Mossberg 590 and 590S. But before we do that, please uh, like, share, and subscribe this video so we can actually get more content to you. This content that you guys like, the more you share, subscribe, and spread the good word about our channel to everybody, it's going to help us do that. So, what am I talking about the 590S and the 590? A um, few weeks ago, we did the video on the 590S, and we explained that this new shotgun, you can actually shoot um, shotgun shells from 3 inch to 1 3 quarter to the shorty shells, which are this little guys here. And one of our viewers said, well, what's the use of that shotgun unless you want to shoot back and forth without making any modifications? And that's true. That is exactly true. If you are not going to be going back and forth between uh, three inch, uh, two and three quarter, and one and three quarter, you do not need the shotgun. You can actually achieve shorty shells only by putting the upsole um, converter, which is this little thing here, the mini clip, um, the 2.0 flex. This is the newest and greatest from upsole. You can actually get this online, order directly from them, and they're great because this will convert your 500, 590, and 590A1, and even Maverick 88 models to shoot mini shells. And here it is installed. If you want to check it out, this is how it looks like. is a piece of rubber that inserts in the back of your rail and allows you to shoot um, mini shells or shorty shells. Depends. Everybody has a different name. These are the shorty shells from Federal, which is the ones that we actually like. And today we're going to try um, a distance of about seven yards. I want to find out what's the spread on the shorty shell uh, with the 15 pellet number four buckshot. And the reason I want to do that is I want to shoot this onto gel. But before we shoot it on gel, I want to see how it patterns in, on, on a piece of paper to see how big of a gel we need. Can we use the 6x6x16 six by six by FBI gel? Or do we need to go with the 8x8x18 eight by eight by, or 20 inches, which is the bigger uh, uh, gel block that they have? We've used the bigger one the first time we did the normal box shot from Federal, the Force X2, the one that uh, hits and splits into two. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's try this. First of all, um, hearing protection, eye protection, because, yeah, we're shooting a shotgun. This might spray all over the place, and I don't know how it's going to behave in the backstop. It's supposed not to spray, but uh, I don't know the, how wide this pattern is going to be. Always eye protection. Never forget about that. So safety, and we take safety very seriously here in Gunstock Reviews, so we're not a Hollywood... Uh, uh, movie production, so we don't do stupid things. So this is the number four block. Now let's try it. Safety off. Well, check that out. At this distance, I'm going to go up there and sort of use my hand. I don't have a ruler or anything like that. And we might have a tape measure back there. So we're going to go down there get a tape measure and measure how big that pattern was at seven yards. Okay, seven yards. If you can see, this is the wad back here on the left. And our pattern was three inches. And all 15 pellets are within three inches. What do you guys think about that? That's amazing. That's great. So let's go back and just talk about which one is better. Okay, so which one is better? The 590 or 590A1 standard with the upsole uh, adapter on it? Or the 590S with the new modifications that allows the shooter to go back and forth? I don't know, you be the judge. Are you gonna be going back and forth in between? This one just gives you versatility. And this one, you know, you have less versatility. You have to choose which shells you're gonna use. But this was, it is not hard to take off, okay? Basically, stick your finger there and push from the inside, and you can take it out. No problem. Piece of cake. So 
you know, what do you guys think? It's whatever, whatever's good for you. I'm not gonna tell you one or the other because I have both. I like them both. They're both great shotguns. I like, of course, I told you before, the only thing I was bummed about this shotgun is it doesn't have the cheese grater on it, and, but has everything else. And I like the wood furniture in this one. Just gives it that old timey look from the 50s and the, you know even the 40s. This is the way I like it. I'm gonna, I gotta beat it up a little bit. So we gotta take it out to gun sight and just shoot it for a whole day and just beat it the heck up so it looks kinda worn out. So like always guys, thanks for watching and remember, please stay healthy, be safe and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.